Hello, my name is Greg Pumo, brand manager for Rogator Interrogator, and I'm here with David Fickle, the tactical marketing manager for Rogator Interrogator, and we're out here in Southeast Indiana, yep. soybeans, uh, at the Rogator Crop Tour. And Dave, tell us a little bit about the next 30, 45 days, yep. what's going on here, and a little bit more. Yeah, really exciting stuff, Greg. So we, you know, like Greg said, we're here at the Southeast Purdue Ag Research Center. We've got a, a 2021 crop tour here. Uh, we've got some soybeans out here. We've been looking at some different protocols. We've actually been able to use the Road Gator C Series, right? So we actually use a commercial sprayer to do the application. We're gonna have some results coming up here soon. We're gonna take all this to yield as well. We're back, 2021 crop tours here for Road Gator. And I'm here with Brian and Jason. And at this site here, uh, this part of the plot, we've got nozzle type and carrier volume. That's what we're looking at. So, um, Ryan, you want to start us off? Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. So we're looking at Liberty herbicide applied with two different nozzle types and carrier volume at 10, 15, and 20 gallons per acre. Just because we hear that for contact herbicides, better coverage is what we need to get good weed control. So we're testing some of that because obviously the higher carrier volume and expect higher levels of spray coverage to achieve. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Jason, anything to add to that? Yeah, like you said, you know, we're looking at the interaction between carrier volume and nozzle type. You know, when we're looking at, you know, how do we best optimize that Liberty herbicide application, which is a contact herbicide. So getting coverage and penetration down to the canopy is very critical uh, to make sure we get a good kill. And so what are the, you know, two ways that we can manage coverage? Uh, one is with carrier volume. And then number two is selecting the right nozzle type, 15, 20 gallons per acre. And then the two different nozzle types, we have just a standard XR nozzle and then also a turbo twin jet uh, nozzle as well. And so we ran those at about 40 PSI. Uh, so the TTJ60 uh, produced about a coarse size droplet. Um, that's also gonna have the twin pattern on that as well. And, and then also the XR nozzle uh, at the 40 PSI producing more of a medium size droplet. And that's the standard flat fan uh, pattern on that as well. So look at the interaction between those two. You know, over in the, the Liberty plot, you know, we, we saw that um, gain in weed control as we went from 10 to 20 gallons per acre because of that, you know, more coverage mm -hmm. uh, getting on that, that leaf. Um, but here, I'd say there's a little bit different story uh, for the Enlist Duo uh, with those different carrier volumes. So, Brian, maybe uh, tell us what we're seeing out there. Yeah, sure. So, as mentioned, it's a systemic herbicide. So, just like we've mentioned previously about glyphosate, you don't need thorough spray coverage like you do with Liberty or a contact herbicide. So in this particular trial where we're using that systemic herbicide, you don't need as much coverage and so we're not seeing a huge difference in carrier volume going from 10 to 15 to 20. Uh, obviously there might be different situations where one of these carrier volumes might be more preferred by an applicator though. To wrap it up, you know, the boom height, that's always important. Uh, you know, we talked about maybe if you have 20 inch nozzle spacing, 20 inches of boom height is a, is a good uh, uh, kind of a key takeaway um, or a general rule of thumb, if you will. Uh, the carrier volumes are going to matter as well, especially if you have a contact herbicide. We didn't see that uh, affect uh, the, the systemic side as much uh, with uh, with the Enlist, so we, we kind of kind of figured we'd see that, uh, but we, we definitely confirmed that here. But like I said, you know, we, we want to help you, the operators and the farmers, uh, do a better job and, and manage all of your weeds. We, we want to try to eradicate them as best we can. And hopefully you guys had a chance to watch all this, hopefully from a, maybe a little, a little cooler space than what we're in right now. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, everybody, for joining the 2021 Rogator Crop Tours. Thanks for watching.